Hey to all your growers out there. Um, I, I'm here today to make you a video on this product. The reason why I wanted to make a video on this product, uh, it's called a Green Giver Light 60. It's an actual grow light, an LED grow light. Uh, I've been into growing for a long time. Um, like a lot of people that's been in growing in lead growing for a long time uh, knows that basically we always <laughs> come up to the same result with these one watt spectrums. Uh, the problem is a lot of time what we run into is when we're using these panels or these UFO lights, the vegetation stage is awesome. Uh, when we start getting into the flowering stage, right, which is the most important stage, uh, we get no consistency in the product and no consistency in the bud or the fruit uh, no volume right no weight and that's uh, compared to HPS and that's not what we're looking for uh, I've been doing a lot of different research uh, in the last year and a half two years and I've been trialing a lot of different diff different lights uh, obviously I bought a lot of scrap off the internet like everybody else I finally got onto these guys greengiverlights.com um, these guys basically are the only company that I found that use a full 3 watt spectrum uh, the main advantage using a full 3 watt spectrum uh, compared to a 1 watt spectrum a lot of people claim that they use 3 watts but they use about 10% of the LEDs in size that are 3 watts 90% of the LEDs are 1 watt and the, the reason why that, that it's like that is because the housing that they use are very poor quality it cannot withstand the heat so Green Giver is a full alu aluminum housing uh, and this, this product has been tested I've actually uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I just did a final test on it and I can tell you one thing that I actually got about 15% more results than using an HPS lights on the final results the color was light light green just like Kush it was I'm telling you it's out of this world so I had to make a video um, if you compare with the 1 watt spectrum the problem with 1 watt spectrum uh, this type of growing is done by penetration right so when you put a light on top uh, you know in your growing area if you're using an HPS light you got to use all sorts of reflector to try to reflect the light in the proper area green giver uh, they have an angle of 60 degrees so basically you just put them on top and they just project where you need them to project so you don't need to use any outdoor reflectors anything like that uh, because this type of growing is done by penetration a one watt light cannot penetrate you're not enough to create the fruit these guys they have enough penetration to basically create the fruit the bud which is amazing uh, after using uh, the green giver light another thing that I can tell you the lifespan of these products are, the company claims that it's good for 50,000 hours they have a full two-year warranty and I believe their warranty in their lifespan because this is the only time that I see a company in the grow light industry that's got a CUL stamp on their on their product uh, on the external power supply that they use a full two-year warranty and this light basically another main advantage is the amount of money that I saved on plant food uh, I was watering every three days instead of watering every day and I was using the same recipe not cutting down on food just using the same amount of food the only thing I was using a lot less because if I would have watered when the soil wasn't dry everything would have started to mold right so I would water every three days so I save about 40 percent in plant food which is amazing. Uh, another thing that I that I really liked is the uh, air conditioning and the fan in the, in the, in the growing area. Uh, you know, I'm uh, hooked up on thermostats, so basically, uh, instead of going on, you know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes every hour, uh, I could hear the fan turned on maybe five minutes, three minutes every hour because they produce no heat. The only heat that is produced by these lights is by the uh, the external housing, the the actual heat sink which is all aluminum so you, we all know that aluminum anticipates the heat really really well um, and so that's why I really wanted to make a video on this product and like I said don't hesitate to, to try these lights at uh, www.greengiverlights.com like you see this light is a 200 watt which is called a green giver 60 so so it's 60 leds of 3 watts with a different uh, a full spectrum of different nanometer good for vegetation or flowering but you don't need to use two lights for both stages you just put them on a timer just like a regular light would work and they're good for both stage and I can tell you one thing in the flowering stage they say that usually you have to use a lead light about two weeks more to get try to get some consistency not with this light with this light I actually got 15 percent more results uh, I, I really uh, and the color was way better if I light it up 
the camera that I'm filming with cannot even withstand the spectrum. Watch how bright this light is uh, compared to a one watt spectrum. Uh, you can really, really tell how bright this light is. I'll do it again. I know it blinds the camera. That's why I don't want to do it too long. Uh, the camera cannot even hold the spectrum where usually a one watt LED, you can look at it directly. This will actually blind you if you look at it. That's why you want to position them on top of your plants facing down, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. But, you know, that's one of the advantage. Uh, you're not wasting any energy like an HPS light would. And, you know, think about it. An HPS light consumes a thousand watt. If you start putting four, five, six, seven, eight lights in your house, it becomes an issue, right? Eat issue, you're consuming a lot of energy. These lights, you take eight of them, you plug them into one power bar into the wall, and they consume as much energy as a blow air dryer. So think about it. I, I think this is a solution for a lot of guys, and the fact that they're good for 50,000 hours, you don't need to replace them. And the, the, the actual light doesn't lose, like an HPS light, after six to eight months will lose up to 70% of its efficiency. And they basically produce a lot of heat, very little light. So, uh, so that's why I'm here, basically, to tell you that there is an alternative out there. And uh, remember how bright these lights are, right? Uh, they're using a three watt spectrum. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, and I've been, you know, I've tested different product. This is really the one to go with. It's uh, it retails for about fifteen hundred dollars on the internet. Uh, full two year warranty. And these guys are not a Chinese based company. They're based out of Montreal, Canadian made company. And, lot, and, compare, and we all know that the Quebec growers and the BC growers are, are basically the number one grower in the, in the industry. Uh, so enjoy your Green Giver Lights and uh, hey, have a, good, have a good day. Thank you.